So with regard to tribes in a, a British sense, that we believe that the coalition um, activities are achieving their objectives. It will take a little bit more time, but we're determined to prevail in Yemen, and we're determined to strengthen, restore the legitimate government of Yemen and protect the people of Yemen from this radical group. Well, does it matter, um, one way or the other, if the United States lists the Houthis? Uh, the Iranians have been shipping weapons to the Houthis long before this conflict began. Those weapons include... Uh, include even uh, shoulder-launched surface-to-air missiles. There was a shipment that was uh, interdicted uh, uh, of, of Iranian weapons going to the Houthis. They are helping them with, uh, to build certain facilities there. And so the evidence we have, uh, and, and they're providing them with financial support. So the evidence uh, is, is very clear f uh, to us, and we have no doubt about it. There are the east-west shipping routes. Uh, there is your... Uh, uh, and then uh, this is not something that we wanted to do. This was a, an issue of last resort for us. Nobody wants to use uh, force and anger. Um, we, but we were left with no choice. We spent years trying to uh, establish a, a legitimate government in Yemen. About how this geo-strategic, geo-economic, uh, logistical... And we have tried our best to minimize civ uh, collateral damage. There have been uh, uh, malicious... Charges made that the Saudi Air Force bombed a refugee camp. It turned out to be not the case. The site was not on our target list, uh, nor, was any, nor were there any operations conducted above it. So it couldn't have been us. 